The energy business, as Elon Musk has talked about in the past, is actually a larger market than the automotive market. And I believe 2023 is a year when we may start seeing Tesla's energy business start to grow on pace with Tesla's automotive business and really start ramping up to the point where we could see Tesla's energy business being on par when it comes to revenue to Tesla's automotive business. I can't have those up. I think long-term Tesla Energy will be roughly the same size as Tesla Automotive. Uh, I mean, the energy business collectively is bigger than the automotive business. So you say like, you know, how, how big is the energy sector? Bigger than automotive. As recently as Tesla's Q2 2020 investors conference call, Elon Musk predicted that Tesla Energy would one day be the same size as Tesla Automotive. But since Tesla Energy launched back in 2015, growth has greatly lagged behind Tesla's automotive business. In fact, in 2020, Tesla's energy business was just barely profitable, earning just a bit under 1% profit as compared to the over 21% profit that Tesla Energy earned back in 2017. In addition, Tesla's solar business, which reached a peak of 523 megawatts of solar deployments in 2017, declined to just 173 megawatts deployed in 2019. Now, after that drop in 2019 and 2020, Tesla's solar business began to pick up a little bit. But despite recent growth in 2020 and in 2021, for the full year 2022, Tesla will still likely finish quite a bit behind their 2017 record high when it comes to solar deployments. The one bright spot over the last several years for Tesla Energy has been their energy storage business, which has been steadily growing. And once again, 2022 will end up being a record year for energy storage deployments. Through the first three quarters of this year, 2022, Tesla has already surpassed their 2021 record of 3,991 megawatt hours deployed. Keep in mind that Tesla will deliver over 1 million cars this year, and Elon has repeatedly made it clear that he believes Tesla should see an average growth of 50% year over year for their automotive business as Tesla marches towards their lofty goal of delivering somewhere around 20 million vehicles per year in less than a decade from now. Now, since its launch in 2015, as I mentioned earlier, Tesla's energy business has not kept up with their automotive business when it comes to growth. However, if Tesla's energy business is going to grow to the same size as their automotive business, um, they're going to have to start growing pretty quickly. And here's what Tesla's energy business could look like if they can grow at 50% year over year, just like their automotive business. In 2021, Tesla deployed around 345 megawatts of solar, and they also deployed somewhere around 3,991 megawatt hours of energy storage. If Tesla Energy is able to grow on par with their uh, automotive business over the next several years, you can see here what this may look like. And by 2029, if they kept this rate up, that would mean a solar deployment of over 8,800 megawatts and a storage deployment of over 102,000 megawatt hours. However, the reality is that while Tesla's energy storage business may grow quite quickly over the next several years, and we'll talk about that more in a minute, I don't personally see Tesla's solar business growing quite that quickly, at least not until a few years from now. In Tesla's Q3 2022 update letter, um, Tesla mentioned that in Q3, their solar deployments increased 13% year over year to 94 megawatts. So obviously while it's positive to see a 13% year over year growth, that's nowhere near a 50% growth rate. In addition, there are some other negative signs when it comes to Tesla's solar business. For instance, on November 10th, Electrek put out an article about Tesla canceling solar projects and scaling back their solar division. This article mentioned that Electrek has received half a dozen reports from Tesla solar customers who were told by Tesla that their solar order would be canceled. In Tesla's official explanation for this, which was quoted in this article, Tesla mentioned that uh, for these customers, their home was no longer in an area that Tesla solar serviced. This article also goes on to say that Tesla has laid off a number of employees in its solar scheduling, planning, and design department. 
We also don't have all the details for these cancellations, but when it comes to growing Tesla's solar business, this is not a good positive sign. In addition, when it comes to Tesla's solar roof tile products, which I believe really their solar roof is one of the most important Tesla solar products that exist, and it really differentiates Tesla from the rest of the competition, Tesla appears to still be struggling to mass produce in volume the Tesla solar roof. I believe Tesla will eventually be able to mass produce their solar roof, and it's a very difficult product, I understand. But when we're talking about solar growth, I don't believe we'll see a lot of growth for Tesla's solar roof business, at least until a couple years from now. So the reality is Tesla's solar business may grow slightly over the next several years, but a 50% growth doesn't seem likely until they can fully ramp um, the solar roof. So going back to that chart, here's a more realistic view of what this growth could look like. In this chart, I changed the growth rate from 2021 through 2025 to 10%, and then a 50% growth rate after 2025, because that's when I believe we might actually see the solar roof start to fully ramp up. So obviously these are just some projections, but you can see that the reality of Tesla's solar business uh, looks quite different than that first chart that we showed. Okay, now that we've talked about a more realistic view of Tesla's solar business over the next several years, let's now move back to their energy storage uh, business and talk about how Tesla may actually grow this business quite a bit quicker than 50% year over year. In Tesla's Q3 2022 investors conference call, Elon Musk said the following, we actually see the energy storage business, stationary storage, growing more like 150% to 200% a year, much faster than cars by a lot. In addition, it appears like Tesla is starting to really ramp up growth of their energy storage business because in their Q3 2022 update letter, they mentioned that in Q3, they were able to deploy 2.1 gigawatt hours of storage, and that represented a 62% year over year growth. They also mentioned that they're in the process of ramping uh, mega pack production at their 40 gigawatt hour factory in Lathrop, California. So with that in mind, here's that chart again, and I kept the 50% growth rate from 2021 through 2023, but then after 2023, I have calculated now a growth rate of 150%. If we go ahead and convert the megawatt hour numbers to gigawatt hours and terawatt hours, just to make this a little easier to see, you can see that if Tesla is able to achieve this kind of growth for their energy storage division, that could represent over two terawatt hours of storage deployed in 2029. Now, of course, I don't know how much Tesla sells their mega packs for, and it's hard to calculate how much revenue this would actually bring in. Um, but I believe one way to look at comparing Tesla's energy business to their vehicle business, obviously you can't compare units because we're talking about an apples to orange thing here, but we could talk about revenue and profitability between their automotive business. As you know, Tesla's automotive business is highly profitable. In fact, in their Q3 2022 investors update letter, they mentioned a 27.9 gap automotive gross margin in Q3. However, unfortunately, Tesla's energy business is nowhere near that when it comes to profit margin. For instance, in the first quarter of 2022, Tesla actually had a negative gross profit margin for their energy business. For Q2 and Q3, Tesla's energy business did actually show a positive gross margin percentage. However, when you look at the average for the first three quarters of 2022, Tesla Energy has a gross profit margin of under 5%. Now, when it comes to Tesla's energy storage business profitability, Tesla is, of course, pushing for similar margins to their automotive business. And in fact, in Tesla's Q1 2021 conference call, Elon Musk said, we're aiming for comparable margins in storage as in vehicle but it's important to bear in mind that vehicle is more mature than storage. Elon then went on to talk about how the power wall was already at good margins. However, he mentioned then that more work was needed for their mega packs to have good margins. He did nonetheless reiterate that, quote, we have a clear runway for improving the cost per megawatt hour of the mega pack. So obviously Tesla still has more work to do on their energy business margins. And also when it comes to comparing revenue to their automotive business in Tesla's Q3 2022 update letter, Tesla reported automotive revenue of over $18 billion as compared to their energy business revenue of just a bit over $1 billion. 
So obviously, as you can see, Tesla still has a lot of work to do when it comes to uh, their energy business ever reaching the same size as their automotive business, especially when you consider the kind of pace at which Tesla hopes to um, grow their automotive business. When it comes to one of the key catalysts for Tesla growing their energy business uh, substantially, I believe their Mega Pack is one of the most important uh, products for Tesla Energy. And Tesla has installed quite a few of these mega packs in recent projects. Like for instance, in May, Tesla put up a YouTube video of a 360 megawatt hour mega pack installation in Boulder City, Nevada. In March, Tesla put up a YouTube video showing a 93 megawatt hour Tesla mega pack installation in Soldotna, Alaska. In January of this year, they posted a YouTube video of a 200 megawatt hour a mega pack installation in Angleton, Texas. And in December of last year, they posted a YouTube video of a 400 megawatt hour mega pack installation in Oxnard, California. Now, if Tesla is going to grow their energy storage business by 150% to 200% year over year and reach um, a terawatt hour scale uh, per year deployed, by the end of this decade, they're going to have to have more than just one mega pack factory. Tesla's 40 gigawatt hour mega pack factory that's ramping up right now in California is really just the beginning because if Tesla is going to meet this demand, um, they're going to have to have a large number of these facilities. In addition, Tesla is going to need a large amount of batteries uh, to grow their energy storage business as well. Obviously their automotive business requires a lot of batteries and that's really received the priority over the last several years. But thankfully, Tesla has a lot of contracts with other uh, battery manufacturers and Tesla is currently ramping up production of their own in-house 4680 batteries. When it comes to battery production, of course, Tesla is aiming for somewhere around three terawatt hours of in-house production uh, by 2030. And in Tesla's Q3 2022 investors conference call, Elon Musk mentioned that they plan to build one terawatt hour alone in the United States. When it comes to Tesla's current situation for battery supply, in this uh, September 13th Inside EVs article, Martin Viecha was quoted by Tesla Radia saying, for the first time I can remember, we can access all the supply we need for both businesses. He was referring to battery supply with that quote. So for the short term, Tesla has enough batteries, but Tesla is going to have to fully ramp up their 4680 battery production, I believe, to really have enough batteries, not only to grow their automotive business, but also their energy storage business as well. So in conclusion, the energy business, as Elon Musk has talked about in the past, is actually a larger market than the automotive market. And I believe 2023 is a year when we may start seeing Tesla's energy business start to grow on pace with Tesla's automotive business and really start ramping up to the point where we could see Tesla's energy business being on par when it comes to revenue to Tesla's automotive business. Of course, a lot of this hinges on Tesla's ability to fully ramp up their 4680 batteries at the existing facilities and future facilities. And I believe it's also going to hinge a lot on success of the Tesla solar roof. Do let me know what you think about all this in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. I'd also like to take a moment to thank the Patreon supporters who support me every month and help make this content possible. A special thank you to my performance supporters and also the other supporters listed on the screen. If you'd like to find out more about the Patreon community I've set up, I'll put a link in the video description. Thank you so much.